friends welcome back to my channel got a cute idea for you today that I thought that you could give a friend as a happy gift a Mother's Day idea or even decorate a little girl's room with it I'm going to create an earring organizer and I've had this in my stash for probably six months it's one of those Dollar Tree splatter screens they have them all the time over in the kitchen section it's just a big round metal screen with a black handle on there now to embellish the screen, I just had some flowers in my stash. A lot of us have a few flowers like this. You can, and it just depends on the size of the flower of how many you need. But I love this purple periwinkle color and I'm gonna hot glue them all around the ring, but I'm gonna leave a little space here where my handle is because that's actually gonna be the bottom of my organizer. But I kind of guesstimated and I'm gonna need about 10 big blooms to go around the circle. I'm also going to embellish it with a bow. This is just some burlap ribbon, some twine. Now to cover up this big handle right here, I thought about making like one of these little shabby chic tassels. This is a Valentine's one I made a couple years ago, just using ribbon, lace, strips of cotton fabric, ripped, you know, anything to give that shabby chic look and just love the look of those little tassels like that. So I just dug through my ribbon stash and even ripped some cotton fabric. I got some yarn here, just whatever you have that coordinates with whatever flowers you're using. So anything goes really. And this project may only cost you a dollar if you've got some flowers and scrap ribbon and fabric. All right, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create a hanger so I don't have to worry about that later. With the handle pointing towards me, I'm just going to string a piece of wire through the top of the screen and twist it up and make a little wire loop. That will be my hanger. So simple enough. All right, now to make sure that I get my flowers placed evenly, I kind of, kind of dry fit them so I know how many I'm going to need. And I just happen to have 11 blooms. I'm just going to put my first one at the top and just work left to right. As you can see, I'm leaving this space right here is where my big burlap bow is going to go. All right, this is what my ring is looking like now. I'm going to flip it over just so you can get another good look that I just hot glued it on the outside edges. All right, so now I need to cover up this black handle, use some twine, strip fabric, ribbon, whatever you have, and I'm going to just wrap it up, hot glue it in place, and it'll just blend in. All right, now that I got my handle wrapped with the fabric, I'm going to make my tassel next so that I can tie that on. Now, you're going to need about 10 to 12 strips of something, ribbon, lace, fabric, whatever you got, and you need them at least about 12 inches long, maybe a little longer. You can always cut it short. I'm going to pick them up, and I'm going to just fold them half in my hand, just like that, using my index finger as the holder. Then I'm going to take a piece of twine. You may have to pull it off your finger just so you can get it tied. So you still have your loop up here at the top. Now I'm just going to take my twine and wrap it. I may have to get another piece. That's all I'm doing is wrapping it. You could even cover your twine with fabric how, however fancy you want it. So that is a simple scrap ribbon and lace tassel. All right, I took the top loop of my tassel and just tied it on to the top of the handle. And down here at the bottom, it's kind of scraggly. This is where you're going to kind of trim it up, but just make sure that you leave it long enough to cover up your handle because your handle is actually up underneath there and we don't want that to show. All right, the last step is just to hot glue your bow and I'm going to hang it up and show you what it looks like. All right, I just hung it here on my back hallway where my laundry door is. The door is light and, and the colors just show up better. But I'll move in a little closer and just show you how pretty this turned out. And I just grabbed a few pairs of earrings, but it would definitely hold several more pair. And I did make one little change. After I attached my tassel, I decided to cover the top in burlap. Once I got my bow on there, it just looked better. And here is the little handle underneath that just blends in. I don't think you would ever know this was a Dollar Tree splatter screen. So for just a few dollars, depending on what you have in your stash, and less than 15 minutes, you can make this earring organizer. So I hope you'll find the time to make one of these for someone in your life or even yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.